Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Spectrum video and it's time to have a look at a game that I really liked back when I was a kid, Dynamite Dan, published by Mirrorsoft in 1985. And this is an open platformer, much like Jet Set Willy, that uh, clearly inspired this game. But I find this one to be more fun. I mean, I like Jet Set Willy, but there's just something about this one that's more compelling. Big, bold sprites with lots and lots of color and also pretty good music <laughs> for a Spectrum. And the game is another one-man show. It was created by Rod Boquet, who initially started out as a musician with a maths degree. And at one point in the 80s, his musical career seemed to have been put on pause. So he got a Spectrum and started playing around with it, started learning Assembler, and this is actually the first thing he wrote. It took him six months to finish Dynamite Dan, and he just learned Assembler as he went, which is uh, uh, pretty impressive. And since the game sold quite well, Mirosop was very keen to have him write a sequel, which he did. And it was, of course, Dynamite Dan 2. And after that, I think he's only ever worked on one other game, and that was Fernandez Must Die on the 16-bit computers, where he did the coding. And after that, he just went back to uh, making music, which is uh, kind of sad, because I would have loved to see what he could come up with, because he really had talent both for uh, coding, graphics and music. And very nice and simple uh, loading screen. And here we are at the main menu. Really colorful already, right? And to get some uh, pretty decent music. I'm gonna go with my clicky joystick, so let's just dive in without hesitation. And as you can see, big and bold sprites here. And this is your typical platforming game. But, you know, just, oh, oh dear. I think I may have taken damage already. Yeah, it's it's just really, really nice looking. I mean, check out all these colors, and there's not really too much color clash either. And there's lots and lots of music and stuff. And the mission, or the thing we're supposed to do, uh, something about rescuing someone, I think. Who cares? <laughs> well, the game just looks really, really nice. And it's, of course, an open game. You can uh, run around. Um, and uh, jump stuff. And we also have lots of lots of tasty looking food spread around that we can grab to get energy. And oh dear. Um, oh, hang on, let's just wait a bit. Can we get this done? Okay, that kind of worked. Don't touch me, filthy Viking. And there's some sort of card, right? Oh, yeah, I can't remember specifically what to do. I didn't really bother to uh, check the manual because, you know, it's a pretty simple game. Let's go and uh, grab the egg and take some stupid damage. But check out these graphics. They do look really, really, really nice. And I mean, I kind of, yeah, we take full damage. I kind of lack the patience to um, play platformers back in the day. I just, you know, don't have the patience. I may have the stubbornness, <laughs> but not the patience. And uh, my favorite platforming game was definitely uh, Manic Miner. Uh, we can't go down ladders, right? No, I think we can only go up. Yeah, right. Can we go here? No, we can't. So yeah, I, I kind of peaked at Manic Miner. I really, really enjoy that one. Ah, damn it. Uh, and then I, oh yeah, this is the bouncy things. I really enjoyed that one, and I almost finished it. I think maybe I got to... Oh, damn. <laughs> An awesome end screen or game over screen as well. Yeah, I think I got to maybe screen 15 or something like that and almost finished it. And I never bothered to try and finish Manic Miner, simply because it started getting a bit frustrating having to go through that many screens to get to the ones that I couldn't really... or hadn't really figured out. So, yeah, I just gave up on it. And then I got Jet Set Willy, which I enjoyed. I found it quite fascinating to explore. But I got tired of that one pretty quickly, too. And uh, and then I got Dynamite Dan, I think. And I just really, really um, enjoyed this one. Just a lot of fun. Even though I didn't really get anywhere in it, I just loved exploring the various stages. And since this is an open game, you can get to so many of the screens. I don't remember how many screens there are, but there's quite a few. And yeah, the graphics are so nice looking. 
Um, we have in the middle of the game, there's this uh, pretty cool lift that goes up and down that, that allows us to access various parts of the game and just check it out. And there's even pretty good sound effects and music. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Now, where should we go to next? I, I don't really remember where everything is at and why did I lose a life there? I'm not sure. Maybe we should go out here and check out these spiders. Whatever this is. Can we jump? Oh, yeah, I'm really not oh, doing particularly well. Again, still lack the patience. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's game over if we drown, so we shouldn't do that. Yeah, as you clearly can see, I still lack the patience uh, to um, play these types of games, but, I mean, I still kind of enjoy them. And there's one annoyance that I still remember. It's the um, the controls. Because very often uh, I kind of press the buttons, I think. I think it's my fault uh, that I press forward and jump, but somehow I manage to press jump before uh, direction and then just end up jumping straight up and taking damage. Super annoying! <laughs> but I think this is more my problem. And also this. I can't... If I stand next to something, I can't jump up onto it. You need a bit of a run-up to uh, make that kind of jump. That's also a bit annoying. <laughs> and look at this nightmare up here. I don't think I want to be trying to get up here. And can I, can I, can I, can I get over to the other side by doing this? Nope, I can't. Oh, damn, I think I'm going to drown. Pretty sure there's nothing to stop me from drowning. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. And anyway, we've got these bouncy things that are pretty cool. They are spread out throughout the game that allows us to jump higher. Let's see if we can maybe use this to not take damage. Let's take the lift down again. And I don't want that cheese. Dan is lactose intolerant. It will end poorly. And we are back here. Let's grab the soup. Can we get back on the lift? Yes, we can. And here we are. At the bottom of the world. Oh, man, why? <laughs> and I don't, don't know why there's a... Uh, ladder here. Is there a boat? Maybe there is. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there is a boat. Cool, 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 cool. I kind of remember that very vaguely. Don't touch me, whatever you are. Can I? No. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, the platforming is pretty damn tricky. But not impossible. Just very punishing. Okay. Can we get up? I can't get up here. Now, I think I have to uh, run and jump. No, I don't. What? How am I supposed to do this? Okay, coming down. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> it's so hard. Ah, oh, balls. Not sure what that is. Is that making me invincible, maybe? Maybe it is. I can't remember. Uh, nope. <laughs> or maybe I just ran out of uh, invincibility. Uh, please stay away from me. Uh, let's just go down. Oh, man, it really is super balls hard. But there's something very compelling about the uh, exploration of the uh, game world in this one. You can Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm just collecting damage on the way down here. Ah, oh, and I thought I could jump. It's rather annoying. Okay. Rather annoying when you think that you sometimes that you can actually... Oh, man. That you can jump, but you just hit your head on something, and then you bounce right down and uh, take damage and, uh, and die. Let's just wait a bit here, because I don't want to... Uh take fall damage. I can't go in here. But this well looks so inviting. No, what is... And I thought I was going to bounce off that platform. Yeah, that's annoying, not knowing if a platform has collision or not. Another thing that I actually start to remember now that bugged me back in the day. Ah, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to control, Dan. And you have an insane amount of extra lives in this game. 
Ah. Doesn't help. Oh man, look at that. I just... Mm, you really need to know what to expect on every screen. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna go there. Forget it. But one thing that I do really like about the enemy is that once you've murdered them or smacked your face into them, they don't come back. They're dead. Yeah, this is very impressive for a, uh, for a first game. Can I get this to... Oh, God, and the collision detection feels a little bit evil at times. Ah. Uh. Other times it seems to work just fine. Now, can I walk on these? Or uh, Yes, I can. All right. All right. I think I can jump through them as well, right? No. Nope. Oh, it's bouncy. No. It's bouncy stuff. Oh, God. And by the way, that guy there is Dr. Blitzen, if I haven't mentioned it. And he's a complete and utter bastard. Perfect. More damage and more damage. Let's go this way. I don't know why I want... Oh, I need to jump. How am I supposed to... Uh, maybe like this. Oh, God. Let's grab the drink and fall down and take more damage. <laughs> yes. Uh, and how did I hit that thing? <laughs> oh, woe is me. Ooh, look at that ice cream over there. That's very tempting. Let's grab it. Can we get over here? Yes, we can. Okay, now it... Oh, okay, I can... Oh, yeah, I kind of... I think I haven't mentioned it, but the game world loop. So once you go off the side of the game map, you will appear on the other side. Can I go back? Yes, I can. I'm just going to see if I can fall down without taking stupid damage here. Well, of course not. Ugh. There's that card again. Is that a Barclays card? Ugh. Oh. Damn it. Need to have a run up. And I can't go down the ladder, of course. Oh, man, it's hard. <laughs> if you're into super punishing platform games, I think this could be fun even today to play. Although, uh, the game would certainly benefit from some, you know, minor tweaks when it comes to controls and such, but it, it's still really a solid game. Here we are. Oh, yeah, we can't just stand on it. We need to move. Am I going to get murdered here? I think I am. Of course. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. But let's just uh, have a nice sail on the sea here. Go away, squids. Go away. Oh, there's uh, things down here, too. Can I? Nope. Mm, it really is tough. Have I mentioned that? I think I have, right? <laughs> and those flashing things that make noise. Uh, I think uh, they are teleporters. Let's go this way. Can I? Oh, uh, nope. That was poorly timed. <laughs> oh, yes. Can I? Yes. I survived there somehow. Can we just... Maybe... Okay, well, I tried. Okay. Should we try and go up here, maybe? Ah, oh, this looks like a complete nightmare. That's fun. Oh, top secret. I do believe we have the woman we need to save in here and there's some top secret stuff and also Dr. Blitzen. Bastard. Oh yeah, this this is a, an absolute, an utter nightmare. Don't touch me, please. No! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, that worked somehow. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I, okay, what's, what is this? Is this another bouncy surface? I think we can go down to the... No, we go down here. All right, uh, never mind then. Um, let's just take the lift again. Uh, let's try to jump onto the next screen here and take stupid amounts of damage. What? I can't go through here? Oh, no. This, this is bad. You know what, guys? I think I am done. And I would say that this game is still kind of enjoyable, but man, is it hard. 
But yeah, let's go and see what some other people had to say about this one back in the day. Sinclair User awarded the game 5 out of 5 and initially they described how the game worked and uh, then Bill Scolding wrote Such a straightforward description does little to convey the horrifically addictive nature of the game. But only a few minutes play will have you beyond redemption. The graphics are all they should be, large, colourful and free of flicker. Scoring virtually no brownie points for originality, the game is nevertheless well set to be the platform game of the summer. Forget Jet Set Willy 2 and fork out the folding stuff instead for Dynamite Dan. And yes, this sounds just about right. The game is indeed addictive and is so much fun exploring the screens even with the horrific difficulty I would say. The ratings over at your spectrum was a bit more varied but overall I would say 7 out of 10-ish. And Dougie wrote it seems that Mirrorsoft has taken all the good bits from the classics and bunged them all in together. Great stuff. And Ross said, Dynamite Dan is a bit of a tricky one that makes you try and try to beat those screens. Not quite explosive, but plenty of fun. And it was still kind of fun to play it today, although it hasn't aged that well, I suppose. It's a bit clunky, but yeah, there's still something compelling about exploring this one. And the graphics still look really nice. And with that, I'm just going to say thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers.